Hey everyone, welcome back. In this video, I will show you how to store secret keys securely in your .env file. Storing sensitive information like API keys directly into your code can lead to major security risks. For example, there were cases of OpenAI API keys being leaked, which is not very good. To prevent this, we will go over the correct way to handle secret keys in your project. So let's get started. To begin, open your project in VS Code or any editor and create a new file called .env. This file will load your secret keys. Inside the .env file, write your variables as key value pairs. For example, if you have an API key, write API underscore key is equal to your secret key. Make sure there are node spaces around the equal sign. Next, it's important to prevent your secret keys from being committed to GitHub because it can lead to other developers viewing your secret keys. Open your gitignore file and add .env to it. This will ensure your .env file is not pushed to your repository, keeping your sensitive data private. Now, to use the keys in your code, you can access them with process.env. Here is an example in JavaScript. So type const API key is equal to process.env and the name of your key you stored. So in my case, it is API underscore key. Now your API key is securely stored in the .env file and easily accessible in your code. If you are working on a Node.js project, you will need to install the .env package to load the .env file. To do this, open up terminal and run this command. npm install .env. Then in your JavaScript file, add require.env.config. Or if you prefer using import, just like me, instead of require, here is how you can do it. Go to your package.json file and add type equals model. Now in your JavaScript file, instead of using require, you can use import to import your secret keys. Personal preference, but I like the second approach more. And that's it, a simple and secure way to store secret keys in .env file. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.